far side. Yeah, Bob, yeah, Bob. One to nothing lead. Michigan continues with that lead. They continue to defend most of this half. Kitchen's drive, and he has scored to tie it. A matter of time. Harry Kitchen with a big one. I'm not sure if there was any screening. Chris Blaze looked like he reacted very slow to that ball. Excellent strike by Perry Kitchen. I talked about him coming from a deep midfield position before, and he comes forward here with a vengeance. What a great run. I mean, from so far out, he's got to be 35 yards away. Excellent strike near post and high. Chris Blaze, I'm sure, has some second guessing for himself there. Didn't even look like he expected it at all. Caught by surprise completely. Well, that's the sixth goal that Perry Kitchen has scored this year, and that's a lot when you consider he's a defensive midfielder. Yeah, but he does like to strike balls from distance, and we saw him do it in training yesterday again. And that one's a rifle, but really, I thought Blaze should have had it. Mistake by the keeper. Didn't look like he was ready for it, JP. Man Foul there from Alashe, number 21. Over 17 minutes to play. 1-1. Winner plays Louisville Sunday in the final of the College Cup. Nat Chubb. Back coast header. And Ackman is taking the lead. Looked like Sarkoti at the end of that. He had missed an easy one earlier. And the ball played in the back post. Well, I said as well that it's a positive thing that he's on the back post. What a great finish it was. Excellent ball, but completely unmarked. Natchoff with the whip in here to number nine. And there he is, Sarkoti on the back post. Number eight, completely unmarked, JP. Nobody around. Somebody lost a marker there. And it's inside, I think it's close enough to the goal where you think maybe a keeper can get to that ball. It's a driven ball. Kofi Sarkoti. He goal. is always hungry. He's looking for it. First goal since he had the hat trick right. against the same team. 16.50 to go. Big one for Sarkoti. That's why you have to forget about oh, your misses. You do, and absolutely. And that's the first thing I said, JP. It's a positive thing that he's there because he's taking risks. He's thinking forward play. And that's what you love from players. You've got to be able to do that to make a difference in the game. As he was taking off, he was definitely going to goal. Eighth corner coming up for Akron. They just go back to Caleb Porter, head coach of Akron, and his comments of they're wilting, they're dead. Louisville now is struggling to get anything going. The, the lack of energy is certainly. And by Patakwong strikes it on the whistle, it comes inside, straight out, Caldwell. Shot was blocked. They'll try it again. There it is for Caldwell. A terrific goal. And Akron has taken the lead. And Scott Caldwell scores his fifth goal of the year and a very important one. The pressure was on from Akron. The corner kicks. This one comes out to him. I thought he could have hit this first time. He takes a touch and gets a second bite of the apple. And he makes no mistake about it and buries it high above the keeper. Boudreaux doesn't have much of a chance from close range. Louisville doing a poor job of getting to that second ball, though, after it deflects on. Pretty lucky, but he gets there. And what an important finish it was for for Caldwell, <laughs> celebrations all around for the fans as well in the stadium. Almost like a basketball player following up a missed shot, stayed with it, saw where the ball was, drilled it. As you mentioned, it's his fifth goal. All of his goals now have come in the last seven games, and it's the first sub. I thought we might see that after that for Caleb Porter.